Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I decided to start making, let me just type in my password now. So I work my full-time job from like nine to five, and then afterwards I usually spend like an hour uh, doing my reselling slash YouTube stuff. So I'm gonna start documenting what I'm doing uh, within that hour. So I usually start my, this. I consider this a part-time job, so part-time uh, at around five, so got 50 minutes yet to do what I need to do so I made one order so let's uh, fulfill that order first gonna be cutting out parts of this just because uh, it's gonna be hard to hide their shipping information and, and everything like that so so only made one order today which was uh, the switch cart let me just close out of a couple tabs here just doing some research on uh, magic cards so I sold a trainer card for Pokemon which was a switch cart so let me pull that here so I have my inventory sorted out um, just between at this point I have uh, this ETB box for magic cards and I also have uh, this this ETB box for Pokemon cards. So switch it's behind S, and there we go. There is the switch cart. Makes it very easy for me to find my inventory. I want to see if I have another uh, switch cart to actually list because these have been helping me fly through uh, the seller levels. So anything that could help me do that, I'm a huge huge fan of. Okay, so a couple. These just seem to have. Uh, Falling over here. Okay, so do, nice. I do have another switch card here and uh, having issues getting this last card here. Okay, VIP Battle Pass. Okay, so just going to flip this over like that so that doesn't happen again. Okay, so at this point, I'm just going to go back to my TCG uh, inventory store. Go to my inventory, my inventory only. Switch cart. Well, I guess I don't have any available. I mean, I just sold my last one. Okay, switch cart. And let's make sure we're the lowest listing. Let's see, it's saying the lowest listing price currently is $1. So let me just verify. I mean, I guess I don't need to verify. So normal, near mint. Okay, lowest listing price. Oh, this is just. The shipping is odd for this. Okay, so let's do price plus shipping. Scroll down. So how can I land myself on the front page here, or at least close to front? Okay, second page. Okay, so if I price my switch car at 99 cents, I will appear on, I guess, the second page. So let me just match that. And then 99 cents, quantity of one, save and there we go just putting this switch card back into the live inventory and hopefully that sells at this point i believe i'm at uh 27 or 28 sales so we need 20 or not 20 we need 51 sales to actually reach uh level four status and then be able to offer uh free shipping I'll throw this into a top loader here. I've just been uh, including a top loader with every sale at this point just because it makes it easier and make sure that the card gets there, uh, you know, not <coughs> bent or anything like that. And then just going to be putting a piece of painter's tape. Let me know what you guys think. Like, would you guys be including a top loader in every order? I mean, top loader right now, I'm getting them at about 14 cents per. I'm sure there's going to be a way for me to. Uh, get them cheaper if I buy like per thousand <coughs> okay going back to the order so I sold this for 99 cents uh, sh they also paid shipping for 99 cents with the total order amount of one dollar and 98 cents uh, they took out a fee of 55 cents they're netting me one dollar and 43 cents now I already threw it into my uh, Excel doc here. Let me scroll all the way down. This is my reseller uh, Excel doc where I've just been keeping track of everything. So combine, you know, minus the price of a stamp, which is 63 cents, I profited 80 cents from this sale. Okay. So going back 
here. Okay, so I packaged this. I'm going to print out the shipping label, and I'm probably going to cut this part because this is going to be a little bit tedious and annoying to edit out uh, the shipping information. So, see you guys in a second. Just real quick so you guys could see uh, the station here. So, I have this Dymo set up for address labels, and then this Dymo set up for 4x6 uh, labels for bigger packages. Okay, so just like that, I folded that side just to hide the address real quick. Now I'm gonna fold it one more time just to actually be able to fit in the envelope. And I'm going to slide that in there and put a piece of tape on it just because uh, the tape is gonna secure it and making sure it's pretty much centered within the envelope, taping that to the invoice itself. And here, throwing it into the envelope. Now, I just so happen to have this pack of envelopes uh, at home, and it has the self-sealing, so that was pretty nice. I'm not sure if I'll be able be purchasing that all the time, but just something nice to have for right now. So I have these uh, two address labels that I printed, and I'm just gonna stick them on here, and it's gonna be good to go. Okay, something that I've also been doing is like cutting the little tabs off of the address labels because for some reason there's always a bunch of access, so I've just been securing them. Uh, by placing them at the end of the uh, envelopes, just again, just to make sure that it's pretty secure, as secure as can be. I know I could go a little bit overkill and even just put a little bit of tape on there, but the self-sealing is pretty good on these envelopes, so there we go. So the first thing I do when I come down here is finish up any orders that need to be fulfilled, and I'm gonna be throwing away the waste here. Okay, now we're reorganized, so now we have to figure out what we need to do next. Uh, at this point, like I said in my previous video, I'm just gonna have this there. That's not super important right now. Okay, so like I said in my previous video, I have a bunch that I need to sort. If you guys are wondering about the food stuff over there, uh, down here is kind of like our pantry as well because we don't have a lot of space upstairs for food storage. So that's why there's food just off on the side of this ping pong table. No ping pong is played here as of right now. Okay, so another thing that actually sold is um, this Dance Dance Revolution. I was going to sell this as a lot. Um, however, uh, somebody that was interested in purchasing some PlayStation 2 games, uh, I sent them a picture of each lot of games. Uh, they singled out this Dance Dance Revolution, and that is going for $5. So another thing is that uh, I offered the same person uh, something that I'm selling myself. So all of this right here, these games, I'm selling uh, for somebody uh, with a cut for a cut of the overall profit. So going over here, I actually sold another PlayStation um, 2 game. I just gotta figure out where it is. Okay, here it is. So yeah, again, just my own personal <laughs> inventory of video games so Dance Dance Revolution uh, Supernova 2 uh, I had this also sell to the same person for five bucks so my own five dollar sale and five dollar sale for the person I sell for okay so now we have all the sales out of the way I have to figure out what is best to utilize the rest of my time so taking a look so we have about 40 minutes left and I did set aside um, some cards over here. So currently I have two ETB uh, lids. So I'm separating all the magic cards from that huge lot back there. I have any cards over in between like 10, cent, 10 to 16 cents and anything 17 cents and above. Because my bottom list price at this point on TCG is going to be 25 cents. Who knows if I'll alter that moving forward. But let us get ourselves set up to... Uh, scan some cards here, so I use this as like the backdrop just to make sure that it scans properly And I just like to have my laptop there uh, Set up just in case. Okay, so I'm gonna be setting up this clamp. I also use this clamp to Record some videos, but in this instance, we're gonna be setting ourselves up with the TCG player app And uh, let's clear what I have here and uh, we're just gonna be keeping up a running tally I'll just make note of uh, any cards that are 
over uh, 17 cents, so I'll bring that up here. But uh, another thing is, I do have this. I found these cards, they were separated in uh, one of these magic boxes, and it was labeled like between 90 cents to three dollars. So I'm assuming that pretty much everything in this lot is around that price range, but we will see. I also have this, the top part was a little bit bent. Uh, I'm not sure if it still is, but I set it in a top loader just to hope resolve that and just gonna be weighing that down and see if we could resolve that bend. It's nothing noticeable, but I just noticed it was a little bit bent. So we'll see what happens with that. And here we go, we're in this station here. So first card, it, this is a dollar 72. So pretty sweet, gonna be setting that aside setting this here and this card is a dollar 49 wow okay so yeah we're getting good hits off of this pile but that's just because it was already set aside so this is actually the same card i didn't look so another 149 and is that the same card again hold up no this one is different okay this is the same as the first card so let me Go in, subtract one, just so we get an accurate count. Okay, so we scanned four cards so far, and our total is $6.42. Okay. And that's assuming <coughs> that they're selling for market price. Okay, so this card, wow, $4.27, so pretty sweet. Uh, okay, so we have this uh, hollow swamp here. So I'm gonna take it out of its penny sleeve here and see what that scans for. Okay, this land uh, for 46 cents. Okay, just gonna keep it in there. That's pretty cool holographic swamp land. So again, we're just setting these cards aside here for when we actually have time to uh, list them. This one's 80 cents. This one here, let's see, 79 cents. Again, we're not gonna get as lucky. I'm assuming these were set aside, like cherry picked uh, as some good cards that they're planning to list, but uh, as I said, I bought out their whole Magic inventory, all their loose stuff. They kept their uh, sealed products, which totally makes a lot of sense. $4.16. As I said, it's gonna be just the heavy hitters, $2.76. Whoops. Okay, 88 cents. So I don't, I don't feel like I'm giving you guys a very good representation uh, $1.98 of what I normally see. So just went through a lot of heavy hitters, hitters there. Gonna set that pile aside because I wanna give you guys a taste of what sorting this is actually gonna look like. So I have this, um, this set aside. I already went through about half. So let's see what uh, this normal bulk is gonna look like. Okay, so it's loading. This two cents, uh, that's the same card. Okay, loading there, three cents and six cents here. So this is what the process normally looks like. Like I said, that pile there was just cherry picked uh, as the more valuable cards. So this is what it's gonna look like for a little while. I mean, until we go through, okay, so this is uh, 15 cents. So I said it in this box here. So gonna be listing those for probably around market price for when I actually hit uh, level four status. So one cent, all these cards, yeah, going for like uh, everything I'm not, not mentioning is about like nine cents or less. And this is taking a second to load here. Okay, two cents. And as I'm recording this now, <coughs> it is 525. So gonna be making some progress here. Okay, so another 15 cent card. Our total, at this point, we've scanned 29 cards and the prop, the net value is um, 26, 46, but then again, that's us including all the one cent cards. So subtract about like 50 cents uh, for a more accurate total of what I'm actually gonna be getting most likely for these cards. Okay, so yep, a couple five and four cent cards one cent card okay two cents two cents again seven cents this is just a nice way to just go through this real quick and not i actually kind of enjoy this part i mean it's very very time consuming don't get me wrong but 
Uh, I don't know Magic the Gathering um, as much as I should. I'm a very new MTG uh, player. I'm actually going to go meet up with some friends to play this uh, tomorrow. As I'm recording this, it is Thursday. I'll probably upload this the following week, uh, maybe on Monday. So if you're watching this right when it uploads, it'll probably be on a Monday. Five cents. So yeah, no, nothing big coming out of these here. Okay, so they're facing this way now. Okay, so five cents, one cent, uh, 12 cents. Okay, setting that aside. And even if my overall bottom down the road tends to be, or becomes like 10 cents or more, whatever I post on TCG, uh, I feel like that'd be all right. But for right now, my overall bottom is gonna be, my, my cheapest price is gonna be 25 cents. Another 10 cent card there. Let's see, this scan. Okay, yep, that's the same, same one. Return to nature. Okay, we'll set those aside. And one cent, four cents. And uh, if you guys want a setup kind of like this, I'll leave uh, my tripod, or not tripod, this thing that's holding my phone, the one I have in the description below in case you, want to, you guys want to get something like this. Okay, another one cent card. Yeah, not, not much going on here. Let's see, Moss Viper. Okay, Moss Viper is going at 13 cents, so let's see, okay. Nice thing is some of this, uh, they're, they're able to keep it together, which is good for me. Okay, so this is going for 12 cents. And just gonna keep keep on trucking here. So yeah, we're gonna be doing this for about 15 to 20,000 cars. Not sure how many uh, is over there right now, but okay, it's taking a second to load and process what uh, this card is. I don't know if I've just been scanning too many at one time. It's okay, two cents, so nothing of value there. Well, another thing that's gonna help is the more I go through this, the more familiar I'm gonna be with these cards, and hopefully I'll be able to just kind of see like, oh, okay, I know that cost is like, you know, or that card is not valued at anything over uh, 10 cents. Okay. It's gonna be sliding more of these. Okay, nope, just three cents. Like I said, I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing with this bulk yet. <clears throat> Maybe down the road, I will list a bunch of these and uh, list it at my bottom price of like 10 cents. So we'll see, Any anything is possible. Just trying to see what is working for me. And like I said, I'm just getting into uh, selling magic cards and even playing magic. So what you see today isn't gonna be indicative of uh, what could come in the future. Moss Viper again, 13 cents. And relentless pursuit. Hmm. It's still. It's thinking. It's loading, loading. So yeah, th this cuts into my time. Okay, two. Right, so I'm trying to be as efficient as possible. As soon as I get down here, figure out what my orders are. And let's see. And ooh, we just got a delivery. So. Um, I have to go pick that up real quick. Okay, so this is all my bulk at the moment. So I've just been putting bulk cards in this box for right now. And let's see if we get through this box here today. That's that's a good goal to have. Okay, eight cents, five cents, 10 cents, okay. <clears throat> Yeah, so far, I think when I'm gonna make a deck for myself, I'll probably choose, um, not really sure what you even call it, but I like the red cards. The red cards and the, the white cards seems to be pretty interesting looking. The green cards don't don't appeal to me as much. Uh, and I'm basing this solely on the fact of how the cards look. Like, to me, it uh, doesn't seem interesting. I think I saw Mass, Moss Viper again, okay. And um, so we'll see. We'll see how uh, into MTG I get. In terms of playing locally, I actually downloaded the app on my phone, so that should be uh, fun to play. Return to Nature once again, 10 cents. So yeah, I'm not finding any heavy hitters here in uh, this lot, but like I said, this lot here has probably been sorted through. And um, even if I could get like five cents per for these cards, that would be pretty spectacular. Like that, this card here, seven cents. Okay, eight cents, like, there, 
there's value in each of these cards, as TCG Bull Kings would like to say. Uh, 12 cents here, so shout out to him. I've been watching a lot of his videos, and he's just been uh, a great <coughs> resource for me. And my allergies are killing me, so that's why I'm coughing a lot. My voice might sound a little bit different. People look forward to this time of year, but not me. I just know it comes with, like, a lot of discomfort in terms of uh, allergies, but at least decent weather. So, you take what you could get. So, a bunch of one cent, one and four cent cars. These are all the same. What am I doing? That's just now that I noticed. Okay, so there are a bunch of the same there. So, trying to... Okay, five cents. Again, more of these. Just a bunch of play sets for these cards. So, nothing there. Again, I just need to recognize. I, see, the problem is I'm looking at the screen. I'm not looking at the cards themselves. Uh, if I was, I'm sure I'd be saving a lot of time. Okay, so all these are all the same. Okay, yeah, we realistically, we could very well get through that pile. So, let's see. Again, I'm just getting the same cards over and over again. Okay, but yeah, the, the total, it says right now I've scanned 132 cards. My total market value is like 30 bucks. But again, I'm skipping a bunch of cards and uh, again, it's taking into consideration uh, all the <coughs> low value cards here. Two cents, three cents, that's the same. Okay, so. Going to the next one here, four cents. I really believe I could do it. I really believe I could get through that pile here today. So that's gonna be my goal. And I would like to continue making videos like this. It's kind of interesting just to walk you through the process, talk you through it. Ooh, okay, here we go. 20 cents, Titanic Brawl. We'll see if we can find any more of those in this lot. Two cents, something about a boar. Okay, gates. 18 cents. Open the gates. Nice. Okay. So, yeah, it just shows that even within the common cards, there's still, uh, you know, profit to be made. I mean, I, I'm going to be focusing on, like, volume. Hopefully, I get, like, a high volume of sales. Uh, if I could sell, like, you know, obviously uh, five cards for 20 cents, then, you know, still a dollar for that sale. So, or just four cards at 25. Uh, I'd be happy with a bunch of those per day. Sure, it means uh, packaging, you know, a bunch of different orders. 13 cents here for, I'm not even sure what that is, uh, something caretaker. So that, that's what I'm hoping for. And uh, I'm curious to see what, learn more about uh, TCG Direct, which uh, basically they fulfill your orders for you, from my understanding. Uh, like TCG ships the card, you ship your inventory to TCG and they replenish their inventory so you only have to pay shipping once which you know sounds pretty great um curious to see what that looks like and that program is only offered to level four sellers you cannot be a level four seller Ooh, 21 21 cents right here uh you get to level four seller status when you actually hit uh 51 sales <coughs> i said i'm about halfway there or over halfway there at this point, Titanic Brawl. I remember that being something. Okay, 20 cents. Nice. And 7 cents. Titanic Brawl once again. Uh, wait, hold on. Why is it showing now as 11 cents? What's the difference between these two? Hmm, interesting. Well, I'll figure that out later. Just going to step those aside. And last card there. Okay, 7. See, I just sorted through this pile here, and we have this last little bit here. Nice. Okay. Oh, okay. So we have, just looking at the sides here, looking like this is new, and then going through. Interesting. Okay. So flip it over. Why is this one? It seems like this one's bent or something. Something's bent about this. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Just gonna close that because we actually haven't been using it. And I'm, I'm just generally curious at this point. Okay, what is this? Six cents. Okay, nothing. Absolutely nothing. It just so happened to be bent that way a little bit. I thought it might have been like something valuable. It's like, oh, okay, maybe. Maybe it is something good. Gate, gate break ram. 
21 cents. I guess I probably set that aside. Let's see. Gate break ram. Titanic brawl twice. Okay, yep, that's already in there. I just saw that at the bottom of my list. I was like, did I did I set that one aside? Okay. Even if I didn't, I mean it'd be such a hard time going through. Open the gates. 18 cents. Okay. So yeah, I don't intend to be, but maybe I'm being a little spastic about this, but it's just that's just how it's happening. Why won't this paper stick? I need to get like tape or something. But then I'd be stuck with this orange box here. Titanic for all once again, 20 cents. Okay, so if it's jumpstart 2022, then it's 20 cents. How do you, I can't tell. I'm still too new at this, so we'll have to look that up. See if it is. If not, then that's gonna be a little bit disappointing. But then again, we were only saw what, like three or four copies of that. So it could have been a nice play set to sell, but if not, there'll be others. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a decent amount of cards, 13 cents uh, within this pile here. Okay, two cents, three once again, three, three. Okay, so where I'm at now, I have scanned 197 and I'm at 33 cents, or $33. Um, in terms of value of all the cards I've scanned. Again, we have ditched a couple cards. Not ditched, skipped. Titanic Brawl again, but now it's registering this one as the 11 cent one. Or, it might be, it might be the 11 cent one, but we're just gonna set those aside. Even if they are all the 11 cent ones, I still would put it in uh, that ETB lid there. So, doesn't matter. They're, they would get set aside regardless. Okay, this one at 13 cents again. Okay, two cents, seven cents. Again, I'm unsure what I'm gonna do with uh, my extreme bulk, anything under uh, nine cent market value. Maybe I'll just list all of them for 10 cents each, who knows? We'll see, we'll see what happens with that. Three cents, eight cents. 16 cents, Brizard Brawl. Look at all the Brawl cards are pretty extreme. Not extreme, but you know, more than 10 cents. Okay, seven cents, <clears throat> two cents, two cents again, two cents. Honestly, if this was like my full-time job, I feel like I could do this like all day, every day. It's just, it's kind of fun. But for right now, I mean, obviously I'd listen to like, a podcast or something but right now the sorting and just kind of seeing what is like hidden within um, <coughs> collections is just just fun 10 cents and I very much do enjoy uh, reselling trading cards it's I don't know I don't know what it is even though I'm not like a magic player yet it's, it's just kind of fun I enjoy looking at the artwork I enjoy sorting through cards See. I'm sure a lot of uh, people that have t big TCG stores with their ears would be ringing like, oh, let's let's hire. Ooh, okay, hire that guy. Let's see, 24 cents. Nice. Okay, <clears throat> so we are almost through with that one. Okay, so let's let's keep going. This is the last pile here uh, for that specific box. Okay, one cent. Couple two cent cards that I scanned there. I didn't mention. Not sure what your angle is, because for some reason GoPro, uh, you cannot see the preview. M Rune of Might, 15 cents. And currently I'm at 35 dollars, and uh, about 250 cards scanned. Did I? That work? One cent. That card looks pretty cool though. Snow creature. Troll Warrior. Hmm. Okay, I take it back. Some of the green cards do look kind of cool. The the snow cards. I feel like I'd make a snow deck or something with that. But okay, this one is still loading at six cents. There we go. Maybe my low point would be five cents. But then I'd worry about people buying like you know a bunch of five cent cards and then having to worry about figuring out if I need to do like the the bubble mailer instead of a plain white envelope. So it's just a lot of things to consider when I'm uh, figuring out which inventory I would like to post. Although if this is TCG, TCG Direct, then 14 cents here. 
then I probably wouldn't have to worry as much. I'd probably just be able to send all these over. But then I'd have to have a really good uh, 14 cents here organization system to actually send the cars that sold. So again, it's, yeah, we'll have to see. If I only have like an hour per day to do this, I'm not sure if I'll be able to uh, facilitate sorting through like thousands upon thousands of cars just to send over to TCG player. 14 cents again. But shipping them myself for right now is all right. This one's gonna be 14 cents again. Yep. Two cents. Nine cents, almost, almost there, almost. Two, eight, four. So yeah, this is what it typically looks like going through uh, all of this bulk. Five cents, as yeah, just a couple of these. All right, let's set those aside just to get, the, ooh, okay. 30 cent card right here. Creature, it's a beast, has reach. That makes sense, hits the, the flying type and whatnot. I know a little bit, a little bit about magic, playing through the tutorials on the, the app. Okay, 12 cents. Uh, spider, yeah, I didn't think that would be high value or anything like that. Let's see here, do that. And I wonder, could I just, would it just work if I did this? Nope, nope, it doesn't, I need this. Yeah, that's, that's unfortunate, that's all right. Maybe I could do a little piece of tape on the bottom, like painter's tape. This one's going to be 16 cents, right? How much was this? I forget. This is something. 16 cents. Maybe I will, because painter's tape, you could take on and off, and I'll just avoid the sliding, uh, which has been irritating me slowly but surely throughout this whole video. So for next one, yeah, I'll probably just do that. 3 cents. 8 cents once again. And I'll give you guys the total. Uh, by the end of the video how much I've scanned and everything like that so let's see at this point it is 544 so I have about 16 minutes left to work on this just you know just properly allocating my time uh, to work and family and that type of stuff yeah you gotta prioritize everything like you, you gotta work but you gotta also have some fun so three cents uh, two cents I mainly just want to get done with this pile here eight cents two cents oh, oh same card wolf that's worthless i remember okay grizzly is going to be not worth anything eight cents okay so set these aside here okay so that's going to just be a box for the bulk okay yeah that looks good uh, i sorted through this a little bit uh, earlier so Let's grab a couple of cards to actually put up on uh, the TCG store. It is, I still have 16 minutes left. So let's do this card. What is this? This card is valued at 93 cents. This island here, 88 cents. Uh, 62 cents. Let's see, I don't feel like taking that out of its penny loader right now. Or penny sleeve. This card is uh, 50, 54 cents. I'll save that. Looking for the range of like around 90 cents. So let's see, what's this? 30 something cents. Uh, if I put that up, lowest listing, I probably wouldn't get around that yet. So 42, I'll save that for later. You know what? I could have just been throwing these in here. What am I doing? Okay. What is this? Curse of, nope. Let's do this. 57 cents. That is a cool looking card, I gotta say. Human Ninja. That's, I kind of want to keep that, but I, I can't. I can't. I gotta sell it. That's what I'm, that's what I'm here for. Two thirty-one. Uh, set those in there for now. Eighty-five. Okay. Eighty-five. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Okay. So I set aside a couple cards here, and we're done scanning for right now. Okay. So I've scanned uh, three hundred and fourteen cards. And it's telling me the cards that I did scan would give me uh, $47. Okay, so set that aside. Setting this aside as well. Okay, so we're gonna do some listing here real quick before we uh, end this video. I also forgot to tell them that I'm shipping without tracking. Agree. 
Okay, so that has been processed. Going back to my TCG, closing out a few tabs. Okay, now I could do that without worrying, worrying about showing the person's address. Okay, so eyes on, no, I Z O N I, thousand I. Okay, scrolling down, control F and 1, 180. So there's two of them. This one is pre release. Okay, it has the date on there, and there we go. This is the one we're looking for. Okay, lowest listing price uh, is eight is 40, 43 cents. Its market price is 85 cents. So I just want to see if I would be even like second, third page if I match lowest listing or like I'm slightly under. Uh, looking at it, let's say, yeah, that's near mint. Let's go with uh, the normal here. And let's take a look at latest sales. So a couple sales, as I'm recording this, it is for 420. Um, let's see, a couple people buying for like it played. So they're willing to pay the price point of around like 460, 60 and 70 range. Okay. And it looks like everyone's only just buying one at a time, which is interesting. This person bought two at 66 cents. Okay. So Let's go to page four. How are we doing at page four? Okay, it's still just uh, sellers. Okay, wow, this one is for 25 cents. Wow, pa page four, just 25 cents. Oh my goodness, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to match that. Um, let's just list one for uh, 44 or 42 cents and see how it does. Cause at this point, you know, I really don't feel like selling two of these for half the market price. So we're just gonna set that one aside for later uh, when I do hit um, my seller level. But at this point, just uh, trying to sell as many as I can to actually be able to reach level two status. Where is I? There you are. Okay, there we go. Stacked it with that. Okay, a thousand eyes. What time is it? Okay, I have 11 minutes left. A thousand face shadow. A thousand face shadow. Oh, why? Okay, there we go. Control F 86. 86, so three result pre-release, promo, okay, guarantee it's not promo, guarantee it's not that, okay, which leaves me this, okay. Cheapest price is, uh, wow, 20, 24 cents, hmm. It did sell for 24 cents with 99 cents shipping, so I feel like we have a chance at this one. Let's see, take a quick look. All right, a lot, oh, a couple did sell just today on 420. Okay, one sold for that 24 cent mark. Okay, let's see. Normal, near mint, only 300, 300 copies. Okay, let's see, if we go to page four, will we get to the section that we would land on? No, I probably have to go a little bit, a little bit deeper. Hmm. Okay, so we can land ourselves on page six if we list at 24. Four. Okay, you know what? Yeah, let's do it for this one. Could just be a take a hit on it. Uh, 24, you know what? Yeah, let's just keep it at 24. Just to match those people. But if we do want to sell quick. Uh, let's do 23. I mean, just one more cent. Why not? Uh, just to be at the absolutely lowest listing, hopefully. Okay, we'll save that. A thousand face shadow. Okay. Uh, T. There we go. Right there. I'm going to drop that there. All right, planes. It's gonna be a land, planes. Uh, guarantee you, there's so many. Okay, so let's filter out. Go to magic. And two fifty, two fifty full art. That's not it. Okay, nineteen more results just on this page. Uh, that's not it. That's not it either. Okay, going through there. Uh, that is not it. Jeez. These lands are going to be kind of annoying to navigate through. I can just see it now. Nope. That's not it. 
how are people finding the lands that they actually want, I guess? That's also my question. I feel like this one's not going to be one to move that quick either. I don't know, maybe, maybe you guys know something that I don't. I mean, obviously you will because... Okay, so let's go all the way at the bottom. It's probably on page two of the inventory. Jeez. Okay, because there was like 800 results, I believe. Like over 800 results. Okay, so let's 250. Okay, so there's at least only just seven over here. Snow. Uh, nope, still not the same one. So yeah, this is just taking up a lot of time in terms of... Okay, here we go. That looks, that looks right. Okay. Let's click there and wow. Okay, so even this is going for like 27 cents. Let's, uh, yeah, let's just match it. Go for 26. Try and get, trying to get some sales here at this point just to increase on um, seller level, like I said. Okay, planes. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, H, A, K, L, M, N, N, O, P. There you are. Okay, I'm gonna look for this because I know that island card's gonna be a little bit tedious to sort through. Okay, Marie Deluge. Maybe uh, I'll just go through all my lands at some point and pick, find the valuable ones, not set them together. Okay, that's not it. Islands black and white. This one looks more like it. Mid midnight hunt. Okay, now pre-release a promo. Okay, it's this one. Okay, this one would normally go for 50, 50 cents. Lowest listing is 25. Let's just go 24 in hopes that it moves. Okay, memory M, 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 M. There it is. Okay, all right, last one, and then we're gonna call it. Let's see, is land and 251. 251. How many could there be? All right, I could just see off of the preview. That's not going to be it. 251, not it, not it. Okay, we reached the bottom of this one. Okay, already page two. This one, this one's going a little bit better. Why would they have it all the same number? I don't, I don't get that. Okay, 250. Uh, yeah, that's the only one on this page I like that. Nice. Okay, that one, that one was a lot easier. I like this one. Uh, 48 cents. Normally we go for 88 cents. Let's just take a look. Uh, it's history. If we could find a bunch of these, maybe that would be my my path to. Okay, a bunch of these have sold lately. Uh, 420. Wow, a lot of 420. Wow, people are ordering multiples. 22, 22 for 92 cents. Wow, that's uh, that's impressive. Okay, uh, one person did buy one, so that's that's a good sign. Uh, I didn't even look at uh, where I would land. Okay, let's go near mint. Uh, normal. Okay, bunch of nine. Let's go to page six. That's where it seems to be putting us. Okay, yep, page six. Uh, let's go 80, 85. No, what am I doing? Maybe it wouldn't land us there. Maybe it land us page five. Okay, 50 cents for a dollar shipping. Okay, okay. Maybe even page four. Page four, okay, there we go. 50 cents. Uh, 59 or 49 cents there. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna go list listing. Matt, uh, go one cent under. Just kind of race them to the bottom for a little bit. I, I really don't want to be doing this, but okay. Island, island. Where is I? H I. There you are. Okay. Five minutes left. Five minutes. Uh, let's just take a quick look here. I know there was one. I think there was a box dedicated to just just lands. Okay, mountain. What are these green? Swamp. Okay, swamp mountain. <coughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to sort through. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. Okay, yeah, not gonna be able to really find more like that, so we'll just uh, focus on finding any cards of value. All right, but yeah, this is uh, what my day looks like, you know, what I do within the hour after I'm done with work. So, 
If you enjoy videos like this, be sure to hit that like button. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.